Hey guys, Kenneth here. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the Gear Cube Extreme and the Gear Cube Ultimate. First, I'm going to explain the difference between the two puzzles, then I'll give you an overview on how we're going to solve them, then I'll show you each step it takes to solve them. First, the difference between the Gear Cube Extreme, this one, and the Gear Cube Ultimate, this one. The difference is the stickers. You can see these stickers were the Tony Fisher inspired stickers, and these are more like the original gear cube stickers. The main difference is when you're solving the gear cube ultimate it's a little bit harder than the gear cube extreme. It's one extra step and I'll get into that extra step when we get to it. So throughout the video I'll be using the ultimate. Everything I show you will work with the extreme. So that's the difference between the two puzzles. Now I'm going to give an overview of the seven steps it's going to take to solve the gear cube extreme and gear cube ultimate. The first step is we're going to solve this middle layer here. We can also call this the equator layer or the E layer. Once the equator layer is solved, we'll move to the top corners and we'll solve the top corners. Then step three now will be the bottom corners. We'll solve those. Step four, we're going to move the edges that belong to the top, or in this case the yellow ones, to the top. And we'll move the edges that belong to the bottom to the bottom. Step five, so we're going to permutate the edges, put them in the correct place on both the bottom and top. Step six, and this is for the ultimate only, we're going to orient the edges and that's fixing these little tiny stickers. So we won't have to do that if you have an extreme, but if you have the ultimate, we'll have to do that. Step seven is the same on both the ultimate and the extreme. We're going to orient or, or twist these gear pieces so that it is in the shape of a cube. Before we start, we need to scramble it. So let's scramble it. That's, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Step one, how to solve the equator layer. And this is actually quite easy. Uh, and I'm not gonna give you any algorithms, you just kinda have to figure it out yourself. And basically all we gotta do is solve this center layer here. What I do is I try to match two colors up across from each other that are the same. So I always start with red. and I, So this is red, let's find the other one that has red in it. and it is over here. So I just match those two up. Once you have two that are matched, you can then just start turning the right layer until you get the center one as well. So now that we have one center, one group here, hold that with your left hand and now just turn your right hand until there we go. It's all very easy. So that's the equator layer. Next, we're gonna go to step two, solving the top corners. So here's step two, how to solve the top corners. And the way we know what color is the top is by the center. As long as this equator layer is solved, we know that this center is the top center. So this top color will be yellow. The way I solve the top corners is I match two corners next to each other that belong next to each other. And then I put them over here on the left side. Then we can rotate this right side all we want without hurting these two. Once these two are done, we try to solve uh, two more corners for the top and we can solve them on the bottom. Once they're solved we, on the bottom we can rotate them to this side here and rotate it back to the top which will end up solving our top layer. So first thing we do is we look for two corners maybe there might be two already done that are solved and we can see here that these two are almost done but they're not because these colors are not the same just because these yellow are next to each other doesn't mean they're solved yet. So let's start with this one, yellow, purple. So we need to bring the other yellow purple to right here, yellow, purple. So let's look for the other yellow purple and that's here, yellow, purple. So we should put this yellow purple here so that when we rotate this side 180 degrees, they'll line up. Once we've lined two up, we bring it to the left and now we try to line the other two up. The way I do that is I first put one yellow corner where it doesn't belong. So if we rotate this yellow red up to the top, we can see it's up here, but it's not where it belongs. And that's actually really good right now. Then what we do is we try to put the other yellow corner on the bottom across from where this one comes down. So this one's gonna come all the way down here and then it'll line these two up. So that's why we move the bottom layer like this so that when we now bring this one down, you can see they line up and what we can do is we can then swing it up to the top 
as you can see, we have our top corners, but we're not done yet. And the reason we're not done is the yellow center is not lining up right. To line up the yellow center as well, what we do is first bring the yellows to the bottom on this side and then swing that under on the left side. Now we're free to move the right side as much as we want without hurting our corners. So what we want to do is turn it until we get yellow on the front face. So I can keep turning it, but here we go. Yellow on the front face. Then we can do down two to bring the bottom, the top corners here. And then now we can swing up to the top and bring solve the top corners. So there we go, we've solved the top corners. We can then move up until they match with the center or the equator corners. Equator centers, excuse me. So now that we have the top uh, corners done, we're done with step two, on to step three. So here's step three, how to solve the bottom corners. This is uh, somewhat an easy step, and the reason it's easy is it's only one algorithm you have to memorize and you just uh, execute the algorithm. Uh, some of the other steps will have easier algorithms, but we'll have to think a little bit harder. But this one is no thinking, it's just execute algorithm. We have one algorithm that will switch two corners. So you find two corners that need to switch, and let's see, green, this one has green, this one has green, but they need to switch. So we can do that algorithm on these two corners, and once these two corners have swapped, then we could do it on these two corners, and we'll be done with this um, step. Um, sometimes you won't have to do this step because it'll already be solved. Sometimes you'll have to only do the algorithm once, and sometimes, like this one, you'll have to do the algorithm twice. So here is the algorithm. It is right two, up, down, inverted, right two, inverted, then down, right two, up, inverted, right two, inverted, up, right two, up, inverted, right two, inverted. And you can see the two green corners have been swapped and now they're solved. I'm gonna um, do this algorithm now with the finger tricks that I use. And so it's like this. And now you can see that all of the corners on the bottom are solved. So that is step three, how to solve the bottom corners. So time for step four. Step four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the edges that belong to the top to the top and the edges that belong to the bottom to the bottom. And how do you know if they belong to the top? Well, they're yellow, they have yellow on them. How do we know if they belong to the bottom? They have orange on them. So what we wanna do is we wanna swap one, one that belongs to the top with one that belongs to the bottom. So what we can do is we can swap this yellow edge with this orange edge and we'll have one one less edge on the top that belongs on the bottom and one less edge on the bottom that belongs to the top. So what we do is we do an, an easy algorithm. It looks a little bit hard, but it is easy. And this is what it is. So first you put the edge on the top that belongs to the bottom right here on the front and the edge on the bottom that belongs to the top here on the bottom right. So here's the algorithm. It's right to up, right to inverted, up inverted but you have to do that five times. So that was once, and here's again. That's two, three, four, and one more, five. So we just swapped those two edges. Now we have to do uh, another one. So let's find another one that belongs to the bottom, orange, and another one that belongs to the top. This one's yellow. Hold it like this in this position, and we'll do that algorithm again. Right two, up, right two, inverted, up, inverted. Right two, up, right two, inverted, up, inverted. Right two, up, right two, inverted, up, inverted, right two, up. Okay, one more. So there we go. Uh, we have another one. So all that's left should be one edge on the bottom that doesn't belong there. One more yellow. And on the top, we have one more orange. So we hold it here so that this edge is in the front. This edge is on the bottom, and here's the algorithm one more time. And there we go. So now all the edges on the top are the ones that belong on the top, and all the edges that are on the bottom are the ones that belong on the bottom. 
That's it for step four. Okay, step five, we need to permutate the edges. And to permutate the edges, we're gonna make use of two algorithms. The first algorithm will switch these two edges and it will also switch these two edges. The second algorithm will switch these two edges at the same time switching these two edges. The first algorithm is easy and let's just go ahead and do that now. When we switch these two edges, this blue edge will go to here, which will solve that blue one, and this red one will go up here. So, um, and it will do something to the bottom as well. So let's just do that algorithm now, and here it is. It's right four up to right four up two. So that switched to these two edges and these two edges. Now the other algorithm is a little bit harder, but it's based off of that same one. And what it does is it uh, will place these two edges here these two edges across from each other and then we'll do the algorithm we just learned uh, to swap them and then we'll bring it back if that makes sense so it takes up a couple setup moves then we'll do the, the algorithm we just memorized and then we'll undo those setup moves so here we go uh, we're gonna go right to down right to inverted so now the edges these two edges were now here and now we're going to do the move we had just learned a second ago, and that's right four, up two, right four, up two. And then we have to undo the uh, setup moves we had done. So that's right two, down inverted, right two inverted. So that switched these two edges. So now our top layer is done. Once the top layer is done, we can switch and do the bottom layer. And let's see what needs to be done here. We need to cycle these these three edges, and so first, on when we're going to cycle them, we want to first do whichever the the center one. See this one's solved, so then this one must be the center. If these three need to cycle, the center one, the green one, on this case has to go to green. So let's do these two first, and then we'll do it again and do these two. So what you want to do is only do that second route algorithm we just learned, the one with the setup moves and on the bottom. The reason is, is once we do the algorithm, it'll hurt the bottom, but then we can turn the top again and do it again, and it will fix what we just hurt. So let's first do the algorithm now, and here we go. Ready? Right two, down, right two, right four, up two, right four, up two, right two, down inverted, right to inverted. So that fixed the green one. Now we're just going to move the top layer. The bottom will undo what we just did while fixing this one. So here we go. Right two, down, right to inverted, right four, up two, right four, up two, then right two, down inverted, right two, inverted. So there we go. Uh, we have solved the edges. That's it for permutating the edges in step five. Here we are at step six, and this is the step that uh, if you have the Gear Cube Extreme, you can skip, but if you have the Gear Cube Ultimate, you have to do step six. And what we're going to do in step six is orient the edges. Uh, so you can see this little stick here is red, and this one's yellow. So what we have to do to orient this edge is to flip it so that yellow is on the top and red is on the bottom. We'll also have to do it to this edge, and on the bottom edges, we'll have to do it to this edge and this edge. So I have an algorithm that will switch this edge and this edge, this edge and this edge. And we're a little bit lucky in this case because that's all that needs fixing. So let me just show you the algorithm. It's quite easy, although a little long. So it's right to up, and then you have to do that 12 times. So that was number one, right to up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So that fixed it. But that was a little bit lucky because that was all that needed fixing. Let me show you a couple more examples of what you might see. So here's an example of what you might see on step six. You can see here, all four of these edges need orienting, but none of the ones on the top do. So what we can do is let's do the algorithm once and it will fix these two. 
but it will actually hurt these two. But that's okay. So let's try that now. So that's 1, 2, 11, and 12. So it fixed these two, but hurt these two. But now that we've done that, we can see these two. If we hold it like this, we could fix those two. And let's just rotate the top, and it'll fix these two. And that will fix our problem. So let's do that. 1, 2, 10, 11, 12. That fixed our problem. So that's another example. And let me show you one more example. Here's another example of what you might see on step six. You can see here we have three edges that need orienting and on this side we only have one. So sometimes there'll be an odd number of edges that need orienting uh, on each side. So this time there's one on this side and three on this side. Whenever that's the case, to be able to solve this problem, all you have to do is you first rotate the right side twice. Now we're gonna do our algorithm uh, right to up times 12, and then we'll have to do right to inverted at the end of that. So one more time, right to, now we're gonna do right to up 12 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then when we come back, uh, in, that, in this case it solved it, sometimes it won't solve it, but now at least you'll have an even number and we can uh, go ahead and keep doing our algorithm until we get it solved correctly. That's not all the type possibilities you might see here in step six, but um, you just have to use the algorithm in different ways to solve what you might have. That's it for step six. Now all that's left is step seven. Okay, step seven, we're almost there. All that's left is we have to twist the gears so that we're back to the shape of a cube. Now, one thing about this is each gear has three geared orientations. It can be solved, like this one is, and then for orange on this side could face this direction, like this one, or orange could face that direction. And those are the three different orientations each edge can be in. To solve, we have two algorithms. The first one comes from the gear cube, and that is where we turn one side four full 180 degrees, and that twisted each one of these gears. And we can do that again, and we can see it did all about this one. So that's that algorithm. We have one other algorithm that's based off that algorithm that will twist this one, this one, this one, and this one. So um, let's go ahead and do that algorithm now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the bottom to face this direction. So with R4, I'm gonna call it R4 even though it's really R16, you can go either direction. So uh, when we see this, this way, this one here, the yellow is facing to my right, then we know we're gonna have to go R inverted, R4 inverted. So uh, on this case, what we're gonna do to switch the one, two, three, and this one, what we do is we go right to up, right to up. Now we do our four, and this time we're gonna do it inverted. One, two, three, four. And then we go up inverted, right to inverted, up inverted, right to inverted. And you can see it switched that one, and it rotated these three. We can now do it again. For this edge, and because yellow is facing this way, we're going to go uh, right for inverted. So we go right two up, right two up, and then right four inverted, two, three, four, and then up inverted, right two, up inverted, right two, and that fixed that one. And let's see what we have left is we have this last edge. So let's hold it, put it down here, and we're going to do our algorithm, and it will twist these and it will fix, twist this one and fix it. Because now orange is facing this way, we're gonna do, uh, instead of right four inverted, we'll just do right four. So here we go. Right two up, right two up. And now we're gonna do right four. One, two, three, four. And then up inverted, right two inverted, up inverted, right two inverted. And that fixed this one. But now we have these three. So let's hold these three to the bottom and we're gonna do our algorithm, and it will fix this one, and it hurt these three. 
Then we're going to turn the bottom and we'll do the same one and it'll fix this one and rotate these three again. And then we'll do it one last time and we'll fix this one and then fix the top three. So let's start with this one because it's facing this direction to our right. Then we're going to have to do it uh, right four inverted. So here we go. Uh, right two up, right two up, inverted, right two inverted. So fix that one, rotate these three, but let's rotate the bottom. We'll do it again to this one. Right two, up, inverted, up, inverted, right two, inverted. Fix that one, rotate those three again. And one more time, we're going to rotate these three and fix this one. So that's right two, up, right two, up. One, two, three, four. Then up, inverted, right two, up, inverted, right two. All that's left is to turn the bottom layer. And look, we're done. Congratulations, we've solved a gear cube extreme or a gear cube ultimate. That's it for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, I know this is a little bit long and this puzzle is a little bit hard. I hope you guys could understand what I was trying to get across. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you have a great day.